I'm not applying any pressure on the pick right now. My thumb does not press towards the camera. My index finger does not press towards my face. It's literally suspended there between those fingers strictly because I'm just holding so much of the surface area of it. And that is the touch that I want if I'm playing fog music again. It's very ginger for the most part. Occasionally, I might grip just a little bit as I'm doing like an aggressive upstroke like that. It needs just a little bit of sort of like impulse response for my hand to make sure the pick doesn't move. But it's gentle for the most part. And that's true if I'm playing like some sort of... some sort of single note line as well in that style, it's still gonna be a gentle touch. The combination of those two things should help to see your pick not travel around too much. And then I guess lastly, there's angling to be aware of. This is becoming a finer detail, but students often again have a bad habit of bringing their pick into the strings parallel to the strings. Is parallel the right word there? Yeah, sort of like flat to the strings like this. So look at my wrist angle kind of is more, more important than anything. This is not how you want to approach playing the strings. This is what I actually look like as I play through the strings. So not this, which means again, my pick is flat to the strings. I'll demonstrate like this. If this is the E string facing you guys, A string, D string, G string, B string, my pick is never like this going through the strings. It's like this angled towards the floor and in and out of the plane of the strings, which again reduces friction or resistance. So it's not flat like this, which is what the wrist position would look like to get that. It's angled like this. You roll the wrist like that. I'm exaggerating a little bit how much for the camera.